The events you are about to witness are real. They are actual moments captured on cameras. They are presented to you uncut and unedited. Some viewers may find some images disturbing. Viewer discretion advised. Hey, what's going on? Oh, nothing much. Guess who's not invited to the party? Terry's birthday party? Yeah. Who? Us! That's right. They uh, said they were at capacity. Yeah. So, you know, anyway, parties are stupid. Yeah. Hey, Dave, come on down. Have some cake. All right. I can't believe it! To Terry. Terry. Yeah. Great stuff, Paul. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. That's great stuff, Paul. <laughs> I was able to sneak you a piece of cake. They were pretty specific about you not having any. There you go. Fine. Well, I'm glad it's over. You, you must be glad it's over. They're stupid, right? Go back. Go back. You know, I wouldn't even go if they invited me. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, that's good you said that because. We're moving the party over to Mr. Lynch's. He's got a bottle in his room, in his drawer. And he's also, we're going to play some waste paper basket basketball. And Terry's going to show us her bra. <laughs> See ya. Hey, guys, wait up. Ooh, well, uh, the hair. Still really good cake. In the realm between the known and the unknown, lies the world of spirits, demons, and the unexplained. For the denizens of Tinseltown, there's only one place they can turn. International Ghost Investigators, Hollywood Division. Oh, God. Oh, my God. You end up doing so much walking in New York. Why did we get off the subway so early? Because that guy looked at me and I got scared. Oh, okay. Here we are. Here we go. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Why did we have to exit the subway so early? You saw the way that guy was acting. He had my number, man. He was like, he, had, he was gonna hit me with a stick, or his his dog was gonna attack. He was crazy, and he was looking like right through me. I had to get off that. Okay. Were you? Are you talking about about that blind dwarf? He couldn't have been a dwarf. He was like this. Oh, yeah. All right, anyway. Oh. What we're doing today is a little different than our usual. Yeah. We've got Janine Garofalo. Oh, I love her. Yes, oh, uh, I love she's Janine. a great actress. She's a comedian. She's hysterical actor. Yeah. And then serious actor as well. I don't she's know. She's done that. Wonderland. She did uh, no, West that. Wing 24. No, 24. Love 24. I love Chloe. I guess Janine was good too. Yeah. Yes, yes. Anyway, uh, we're here and it's a little different. She is going to shadow us. Oh, uh -huh. what's that mean? I don't like that. What is that? I don't okay. like that. Shadowing, she's going to observe us. She has an upcoming film where she's going to play a ghost investigator. Oh, yeah? And she wanted to observe the best. And the other guys weren't available? No. She was told by Deepak Chopra that we were the best. He recommended us very much. That highly. guy is such an He's asshole. So nice that. guy. He was very. Oh, hello, Hi. Janine. Hi. Hi, I'm Dave. Dave, it's so nice to meet this you. This is Paul. Oh, really Paul, nice to meet you. International Ghost Investigators oh, Hollywood. Oh, right there. Gosh, thank you so much. I am preparing for a role in a movie. Um, about ghost trackers. I play both a district attorney, a tough but fair district attorney who also at night um, takes over my father's ghost tracking business. But then also uh, Thomas Hardy's in it, who is a great, great actor, because they needed a British person to give it sort of gravitas. Uh, anyway, we've, okay. uh, we're glad you're here. Uh -huh. We're going to get right into the investigation. Yes, I want, I really hey, just hey, want to hey, get hey, going. Whoa, whoa, slow down, pretty lady. I mean, we're uh, not from New York. We're not like mm -hmm. all rush, rush, rush like you. Mm -hmm. OK, we're like LA, so we're much more laid back. Yeah. You know, and we just do well, things at a slower true. pace. Yeah. We do and move a lot slower we than like most people. We like things like yogurt and right. the sun. New York, California, they're so different. I mean. Totally different. You know, like, we're more laid back. They're all like, rush, rush, rush. We sit like back, like, like laid yeah, back. Like laid back. And, and they're, they're like, like, like all forward. It's true. They're like angry all the time, and we're like happy all the time. Right, and we like have, we're like granola, and they're like uh, meat, coffee, and cigarettes, and that's and their, like yeah, and like maybe raw, a steak, raw meat. Yeah, 
Have you yeah. ever seen Mad Men? Yeah. New York. Rush, rush, rush. Surfing. All right. Let's get going. Oh. OK. Please pretend I'm not even here. This is so exciting. Wow, she is such a bitch. Excuse me? Well, I thought we were pretending you're not even here. Yes, you're right. Well, I was going to offer to help you carry those, but now I'm not going to. Oh, OK, thank you. OK, we can do it. You know, it's it's strange that we get back from these trips and all our, all our equipment is broken, like it's been mishandled. <laughs> Airlines, right? Tell me about it. <laughs> right. All oh, right. Wow. Uh, wow. OK. Uh, uh, no, I just want to say just it's so nice uh, to finally be working with someone who I'm taller than, because that's like. Who? You think you're taller than me? Well, I, I, I don't am. think so. I don't think so either. My first impression of Dave was really positive, but um, Paul, who is the one who's he's about this much shorter than me, he was um, an antagonistic for some reason. All so, right. Anyway, um, in this situation, where's all the equipment? I left out in the street. It should be fine. Okay. Uh, this situation is a little different than our normal investigations. Normally, the owner will bring us in and be on camera and they'll tell us what's happened. In this situation, we have an owner who's a little reluctant to be on camera, who can't even mention his name. Who is that? Donald Trump. Oh. oh. Why do you do that? Every time we have a secret, you just, secret client, boom, you tell it right away. What is that all about? Oh, well, I can't keep a secret. I just can't, I can't do it. It's like, I'm conditioned that way. I don't know what it's from. I think it's because I feel bad keeping secrets, but no, I can't keep secrets. You, you didn't tell anybody about my thing, did you? Oh, your hemorrhoid surgery? No. Actually, that is one I did keep. So I guess I'm wrong. <sighs> yes, Mr. Trump owns a property, wants to know if it's haunted. If it's haunted, that raises the value at these places, these right. historic buildings. Usually happens with our investigation. We will talk to the owner, which mm -hmm. we can't do. Uh, but they did, um, we do have some testimony from some people who have actually had paranormal experiences in this property. Oh, okay. And what we'd like to do, if you don't mind, if you want to take a shot at it, is doing a reenactment. I would like, love to. This I'm is actually to. something that happened to someone who was staying in, this, in the building as a guest, and it's her story. So I'm the person who was staying in the bed and breakfast, and there was an event. And yes, yes, oh, yes. Oh, I'm yes. very excited. Right. Okay. All right. Go ahead. I had had a long day of sightseeing. New York is beautiful this time of year. I returned to my room, and after a long, soothing bath, I was lying in bed with a good book and a cup of chamomile tea. Oh, I don't drink chamomile. I love, like, um, that hurts my, I like black teas, like Scottish breakfast. I understand. With some steamed milk and a shot of vanilla. Uh, Janine, I just don't like chamomile. If I may, Janine, It hurts my stomach. Um, I understand that that's not you. Yes. But uh, the, you're, you're playing a character. Right. It's a reenactment. It's just so. I don't like, I don't like chamomile or herbal tea. I totally love understand. black tea. Yeah, I'm with you. Good. I like that Irish breakfast tea is one of my favorites. Scottish breakfast is so good. Oh, I haven't Can tried I make that. a suggestion? Mm -hmm. I mean, this is crazy. Go ahead. What do you got, yeah. Paul? Maybe you should try acting. That was rude when you told her to act. Well, I thought somebody should. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with Paul. I, I have no idea. OK, I had had a long day of sightseeing. New York is beautiful this time of year. I returned to my room, and after a long, soothing bath, I was lying in bed with a good book and a cup of chamomile tea. I'm sorry. I just... It's OK. I was lying in bed with a cup of chamomile tea when I heard a noise. Not a loud noise, but not a soft noise either. It sounded like a body dropping reluctantly to the floor. I know it sounds crazy, but that's what I heard. I pulled up the covers and hid. I didn't get a wink of sleep all night. That was very good. I liked Thank it you. a lot. That was a beautiful yeah. job. It's job. all right. It was OK. I mean, it was OK. Listen, I, this sort of was a cold read. It's not like I yeah, knew I was going to be material. doing And I was happy to do it. She, hmm? just, she just got just, the material. It's okay. just. That's yeah. not fair. I was really pleased to do some reenactments. I was really happy when Dave um, let me do some reenactments and did not criticize how I did. He was very nice, and I felt I, felt I was in a safe space. You do a reenactment and let I can I learn from the master. Yeah. yeah. You gonna do a reenactment? Yeah, sure. sure. All right, okay. All right. Yeah, this one. Uh, here at this. this one uh, happened in the basement mm -hmm. of the place. Mm -hmm. And I think he was a uh, plumber. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I believe he was Italian. 
Italian plumber. Okay. All right. Okay. So, you know, mm-hmm. watch and learn, I guess. Uh-huh. That's what they, I think, mm-hmm. kind of theory. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I was a sweeping the front hall, uh, and then I decided to do some plumbing. Uh. Is that Swedish? Under- Where's he? It's Italian. Where? Did you say Italian? I think so. What year are you from? Uh, Is it oldie timey? It sounds old timey, and Trump, it doesn't Trump sound. hasn't owned the building that long. I mean, it's not like it's. No, I'm pretty sure that's a pretty accurate accent. All right. I was a plumber. Uh, I work under the sink, uh, and I reach uh, for the wrench. Uh, I cannot uh, see the wrench. Uh, And then I look around. I see uh, the mess on the floor. Uh, Miss Trump, uh, she don't like a mess on the floor. Uh, so I go to clean up uh, the mess. Uh, I sweep uh, the mess, uh, the dustpan. She a move. Uh, I try to put uh, in the dustpan. And the dustpan, she move again. Uh, I run away. Well, those were definitely reenactments. Can we agree on that? Both yeah. of those were reenactments. Come on. Yes. If he if he was aiming for mediocrity, even missed it. Uh, terrible, terrible. I mean, if he was trying to be funny, it would be funny. Wasn't. Wasn't. He was not trying to be funny, and I resent. I just resent that. That he had he been really great, I would say, all right, I give it to you. You were great at reenacting, but he wasn't. All right, we need to move on now to do some uh, actual investigating. Okay. Ready for that? Yes. Mm-hmm. All right, let's head upstairs. Okay. I'm taller than you. Okay. You're not. Okay. That makes all no of the sense. Bags. Get all the equipment. What? Uh-huh. Everything. Yeah, I came outside, and there were these two guys uh, putting all the equipment on this trolley. And I was like, hey, you know, because I wanted to thank them. And they just took off. Hmm down the street, and I was like gonna give them like a dollar each for doing that. Oh. So I think New Yorkers aren't as bad as Very we think friendly. they are. Very friendly. Still not laid back like California. No. Surfing. In here, if you wanna just check this Ooh, out. This is some of the right? equipment we this use in our investigations. Don't, don't touch it, you're not. All right, well, let me just show you this one. This is something everybody's got at home probably. It's just a, a still camera, right? And, and you'd normally, this is just something you have. But this is investigation. We use these to capture images that you can't capture with the naked eye. Mm-hmm. So I'll take pictures of a room, say, and then, mm. you know, take them all around. Can you try this one? Oh, you want to? Just like this. OK. Actually, that light's very good for you. Thank Hold you. on. Yes? Let me come around to bite your face a little bit. OK. Well, you want to show them how it's done? Well, yeah, just. Uh... Hold on. So anyway, there was this, I'm thinking, I'm just thinking uh, about politics. Yeah, I can do that. That was good. She was a natural. Janine was great at posing. I, I mean, I bet she used to be a model. I used to be a model. Really? Yeah, I used to do runway, catwalk, kid shoes. Just like uh, last year. Uh, anyway, this camera will capture these images, and we're able to have photographic evidence of, uh, of our investigations. Wait, so, well, yeah. can people just Photoshop that kind of thing? <laughs> <laughs> of course they could. We're licensed investigators. Yeah. We don't do so that. You, hmm? So you wouldn't? No no, 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 no. We're licensed. If you do, you're not going to say you did it. You'd lose your license, I yeah, guess. Yeah, you could yeah. possibly. And you don't have a license, thing? so you... No. What is hey, that? It's excuse so me. cute. Excuse you. Can you tell her to put that down? Wait, um, actually, that, is that for, does that oh, why is that get even the ghost's attention? No, it's, it's from my bicycle. This is for Paul's okay. bike. But I thought we could use it okay. maybe to scare away a ghost or something. Or summon. That could work, too. These um, are night oh. vision goggles. These are great. These are night vision Can you goggles. Put them down. Yeah. They actually amplify available light, uh, yeah. especially at night. These they attach be here. onto your head. These for seeing at night. Mm-hmm. A single firefly, you could see an entire field. Light up a whole room. Or a right? room if it was in. You if, know, if a firefly were like, in a room, and they it work, could light they up work a whole like room. you know, they go down like this. Yeah. They're right? very sensitive though. And Paul. they push out. I'll air right into your Paul, face. Put like them this. on, but don't turn them on because you're the right button, by an open window. The button Paul. is right here. And oh my eyes! Oh 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 oh. Okay. Um, is, it, is that part of it? He burned his cornea. <sighs> oh, sorry. It's happened before. Wow, that must have hurt a lot. No, not really. I'm one of the very few people that can actually stare at a solar eclipse completely with no light protection. Wow. 
I mean, I can't see for a week afterwards, but always comes back. Hmm. Let me show you this. This is actually some oh. really cool equipment. This is something new we just started working with. It's forward-looking oh, infrared God. FLIR. And actually, you can see the heat oh. signatures of things. See that? Yeah. See how he's all hot, so it's very uh -huh. bright. <gasps> and you can see if it's something cool, it's darker right. colors. If it's really cold, it'll be purple. If you have a bag of eyes, it'd be purple. Right, right. But so we use these, and we can find cold spots in investigations or hot. My gosh. Oh my gosh, what is see, that? See where he sat? How it's and it's on the back of his pants. Oh. Why is it so? What hot? is that? Wow. Paul, what did you? What did you sit? Paul, what is the, I, that? did you possibly wet the bed? Well, right here? No, I don't know. No, 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 not there. Over no. over here. Well, I didn't do that. There's nothing here. I understand. There's nothing there, but no, what over is that? here, what's that? See I don't how know. Right yeah, yeah, that yeah, is? yeah, 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 yeah. It's I like mean, there's sometimes there is residual heat from I sitting there, but that is so here. bright. Well, what is it? I think it's urine. urine. Did you did you piss your pants? Classic Paul, I guess. I used to have a puppy that did that. Many times in ghost investigations, older technology actually works better than newer technology. Much like uh, that camera, we use that still camera upstairs. Um, same thing with audio equipment. We found many times within our investigations that the older equipment with its analog and hisses, we tend to pick up sounds we wouldn't normally hear. So what we'll do is we'll ask the spirit to respond to us, record it with the tape, we wait for a response, you don't really hear anything, but when we play it back, we'll hear a response. So we're going to try it right now. Here we go. Spirits, if you're... Yes, Paul. What? What? Yes. Did you tell her that sometimes you have to play the tape backwards in order to hear if you've uh, got any uh, information on it? like Paul, that's a very good point. Paul. Hmm? Paul, that's a great point. Thank you. Uh, sometimes the response is, don't always make sense, especially in an inactive haunting. Sometimes it's just a sense of memory, and sometimes you have to play them backwards, forwards, different levels. Uh, if it's an active haunting, many times they'll answer your question, like directly. It's, just, it's fascinating stuff. So let's try it again. Let's, do you have anything you wanted to add? No, I'm good. OK. Here we go. Spirits, if you Yes, Paul. Did you tell her that you have to play it backwards? Did you actually meant say that you have to play it backwards, though? You did. And I actually said it, too, and we acknowledged it. Yes. Just want to make that clear. So, OK. You know what? Good. It was a good point before. Mm -hmm. It wasn't the it's second time. a better time. point now. All right. OK, here we go. Please just try to keep quiet. Just doing my job. I want to hear if there's any response from you. Got it. Spirits. Spirits? If you are present, make yourselves known. You don't have to whisper because it shows up on the tape. Paul. Yeah. What were you doing? Telling her not to make any noise. I'm there. OK, I got to rewind the tape. This is a, it's a, called a wheel to wheel. Wheel to wheel? Wheel to wheel, I think. No, it's real to real. Sure. Okay. Well, I don't think so. All right. Pause. It's a wheel to wheel. It's a wheel, and that's a wheel. Okay. And it goes wheel All to right, wheel. All right, we're ready to go. Right. It's called reel to reel. I mean, any fool knows that it's called reel to reel. Um, and I feel like he was just taking a position, pretending it was wheel to wheel. Um, I, I, I don't believe he, in the same way his gluten nonsense crap at lunch, I believe he just seeks attention. He does not have celiacs or whatever the nonsense. And, and he's not three quarters Cherokee. That is the biggest bunch of bullshit. I'm tired of people claiming that. And if you're going to go that route, there are other tribes. There are other First Nation tribes. Again, let's just We're let it. Nowhere equipment. Shut up. I'll ask the question. We're going to wait for the response from a spirit. I'm not going to say anything. Spirits, if you are present, please make yourselves known. Fuck it. Well, it broke because it's probably so old. Piece of shit. You see, we don't have that problem in LA because in LA everything's new. That's true. We don't have old stuff. Because new is better and, you know, more laid back. Mm. Surfing! Check this out. I asked Janine to come in here to investigate all by herself, OK? Because when I first started investigating, Dave would, like, haze me, like, constantly, like, for weeks. It was hilarious. 
So now, it's Janine's turn. She's gonna get a little surprise. <laughs> A lot of people say mace hurts. It hurts at the beginning, and then I'm totally cool with it uh, pretty quickly because I have a lot of scar tissue uh, that I built up from staring at the sun. Hmm. But you don't suggest people do that? No, I do. I suggest do it. I'm not going to tell people what to do. You yeah. want to stare at the sun and then spray yourself with mace? Go ahead. You really shouldn't. You know what? I'm going to do no, it. No, I'm saying people shouldn't do that. I think they should. He's an idiot. <sighs> OK. All right. That didn't work out uh, exactly the way it, uh, I planned it. But now Dave is in there with Janine right now. They're taking readings. Dave's totally going to play along. That is going to be hilarious. OK? Check this out. Are you getting anything? Not yet. Well, that might be something. I did hear something. The second macing actually ate away the scar tissue, and now I have 20-20 vision. So thank you, Janine. Well, that was quite a night, and oh man, it was certainly an investigation. Oh, it was so great getting to watch you guys. I learned so much. Thank you, Janine. Thank you. Ow. Thank you. Oh, thank you. You're right. Ah! Oh, sorry, sorry. What happened? I don't know. I think I I don't know actually. Oh, okay. yeah, allergies, yeah. You can take, yeah, take a Motrin. Well, we ended up spending the night after Paul was maced the second time. He he fell down the stairs. Yeah, I don't remember any of that. He was unconscious, so yeah. we thought it was best not to move him. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I think I had a good time. Yeah. Anyway, see okay. you. Nice Bye. Bye. Yeah, Bye. she's still there. All right, hey, come on. Ow. Come on, get the stuff. Come on. We got a flight to catch. Come on. All right, all right. I can't. Ow! Ow! Oh. Oh. Well, I hope Janine got to what she needed out of that investigation. Yeah. You know what I really like about Janine? What? I know I'm asking. Oh, you don't remember? Or because I don't know if I do like anything about her. She almost killed me. Mm. Well, she actually said nice things about you later. She did? I always knew she was cool. She didn't say anything nice about it. Without going into great detail, there was this time once where um, I was being bullied, and I was held by one ankle outside the Mondrian. <laughs> um, uh, by a Suge Knight impersonator. That's how Paul made me feel when I was doing a reenactment. But, you know, I got through it. I think it was okay. I'm looking forward to doing more. I'm actually going to take a class at the new school, um, reenactments for, for um, beginners. And then there's conversational reenactments, stuff like that. I'd seen it at the Learning Annex, and I was like, who, who would do that? Now I know who would do it. I'm going to do it. And um, I'm looking forward to it. Surfing.